I'm Jenny Smith, National Makeup Stylist for NARS Cosmetics, and these are the NARS Artistry Sessions. I'm going to show you how to create an eye-focused look featuring some of the key shades. The first product that we're going to use is Dark Right Soft Touch Shadow Pencil. I'm using the Soft Touch Shadow Pencil against Michelle's lash line and just blending as I go. A quick tip, an easy way to apply any pencil or eyeliner is to start from the outer corner of the eye and work your way in. This allows your eye to relax very easily. The reason why I'm using this shade is because it builds depth and creates definition as you can see. I'm going to smudge this shimmering navy color and just join together right where her eye has its natural round shape. So right over the natural shape of Michelle's eye, I'm going to blend the pencil to create instant definition. A great thing about using a soft touch shadow pencil before a powder is that this actually creates a base for the powder shadow to stick to. Michelle's eye is instantly defined. Now, this doesn't have to be perfect because what we're really doing is creating a base shadow first and then applying a powder right over it. The shadow that I'm using is Lhasa, which is a lavender gray eyeshadow. And what you'll notice is that I'm actually applying it in a pressing motion with this angled shadow brush. The number 16 brush applies the shadow very smooth and evenly over the eyes. And by using a pressing motion, this prevents eyeshadow from falling down. So let's do the other eye to match. And again, we're using the soft touch shadow pencil. Use it as close to your lash line as possible so that you don't have any open space between your lashes and your liner. Now, once you've applied the soft touch shadow pencil, and you can just blink once or twice, and once you blink, it sort of creates the natural shape on your eye to follow your eye shape so that you know where else to fill in and where to blend with the pencil. So one amazing thing about the eyeliner that I love is that it actually has a built-in sharpener so you never need to take a sharpener with you. This mechanical pencil quickly and easily sharpens itself right from the bottom, and you are ready to go. Blending right into your lash line creates a thicker lash look while it won't tug on your eye at all. What I like to do to soften the edges of the eyeliner is actually use a shadow right alongside the eyeliner, and this not only cleans up the edges and perfects the look of the liner, but it also creates a soft haze of color and the blue-gray melts together as you blend it. So let's layer on a few layers of mascara. This is the NARS Volumizing Mascara, which is enriched with vitamin E and macadamia nut oil so that you don't have any clumping or flaking at all. I love this mascara because it gives a beautiful lush black finish to the lashes. What I love to do is I tilt my head back in the mirror and get right into the base of my lashes so that I get a lot of volume at the base of my lashes and then just work it out to the ends. And what this does is it instantly defines the most important area of your lashes, the base. We want more depth and more darkness there. It creates a thicker lash look, almost the same way that an eyeliner would. We're going to use one of the NARS multiple sticks, which are for eyes, cheeks, and lips. This one is a true pink. What I usually use as a guiding point is about two fingers away from your nose. Because we have natural redness or natural pink in this area, if you go higher, it actually looks healthier. We're using Tonga Lip Liner. This lip liner is great because you can use it over your entire lip. And what it does is it fills in with a natural color. So although it may feel like I'm doing a lot, the color that Michelle is wearing is actually very, very natural. This will give longer wear to lipstick, gloss, and it also creates a brightening effect. The gloss that I'm using is the new Larger Than Life Lip Gloss, which has a hydrating and conditioning effect. Puree, this is a rosy pink. The color by itself looks amazing. But we're going to have a little bit of fun and we're going to layer another color over it. The brush is very fine tip, so it makes it very, very easy to apply without overdoing your lip gloss. We're using the new lipstick Bilbao, which is a shimmering topaz. I love this color for its versatility. I'm actually using it as a finishing touch, which is just kind of different than the way that you might apply your lipstick and gloss at home. But I'm using it as a finishing touch so that the pink from the gloss still shows through. 